Hey guys, this is S S H H H H, and today I'm gonna be cleaning out my iguana cage tank thing. I thought I'd do a video because I haven't done a reptile video in a long time. So it's pretty dirty in here right now. I just fed him, so I'm just gonna wait until he eats, and then we'll get into it. Okay, guys, and because he's done eating, let's start cleaning out his cage. So first off, I'm just gonna take all these lights off. So. Let me do that right now. Now since that's done, let's take out Mr. Pickles, of course. So let me reach inside of here. Without this falling, because it's falls, of course, but he's okay. Let's take this out. Let's get Mr. Pickles. Ow. Of course you have Mr. Pickles. So let's put him up here. You can just watch us clean out his cage and, and he'll climb up all the way to the top. Next thing we have to do is take out all his decor and accessories for his cage. So I usually just put them on the ground. So let me do a few right now. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm in my, uh, my uh, basketball shirts with an Australia. So. Of course, I just took out some of them, so let me do the rest. Alright, so now since I just did all his decor and accessories, now it's time to take out the newspaper. This is the most important thing to get, because you don't want any other to poop and feces to be falling out into the dish. Put it in my trash can because I'm gonna throw it out now. But now it's time for my shot back. Just in case if any poop got inside of the tank. You really don't have to do that, I just do that just because most of the poop's still in the cage because it falls out of the newspaper. You can always get, if you don't have a shop vac or a vacuum, you can always get like a, a, a dustpan and a little broom and sweep it all up. And I used to do that, it works the same. Now this is optional, but let me tell you, don't do this inside the cage, but what I do is I go get one deck sprayed outside the cage just to clean up the thing. Not the inside, you don't want to spray the inside because... If he licks it or something and there's still something in there, he's gonna get sick and maybe die. But what I do sometimes is I just get like vinegar and water, put it up because it's safe, put it up, do it all, clean it. But right now I'm not gonna do that today just because it doesn't look that dirty, but it does from the outside, so I'll probably do that. But next, now the next part is to get some newspaper, which I have to go to my kitchen and get some. And put it in back. This is just a newspaper my dad didn't read one day. So it's a Spiegel stack. And even if he doesn't really don't have a newspaper, I wouldn't recommend using paper towel for a big old iguana closure just because it's in a rip easy. And of course, it's just for the little leopard geckos. I know my room's dirty. It's just for the leopard, le the leopard geckos. But if you guys could spend 50 cents on like newspaper and get this much basically every day, or if you guys want to do more, go to go on, on Sunday and get your Sunday paper for a dollar. This thing lasts for like ever. So what I usually do is just get one. I really don't like using just the single double size. I like using the, the extra long ones. So I'm gonna try to find one. I found one. What I mean by this is a double big old sided one. Is once you open it up, you get an extra big one. With the little one inside. So you do you just get it and put it in. So let me do that now.
Okay, so now since that's done, um, I usually put more paper in the eating and water area just because he eats, it gets messy, and all that stuff. But since that's done, now let me put in the accessories. So I'll do a few, and you guys will get the thing. Most I always wash these things, but this time I'm not just because they're not that dirty. Oh, that's coarse. But I always wash them though, mostly. I put them in warm, lukewarm, like lukewarm water and wait for like an hour. And then I get a scrubber and scrub all these things down. Just because of all the poop and stuff. So let me get three branches. If you guys want a cure video on how to take care of an iguana like pickles, I'm just chilling up there. Uh, PM me, comment down below. And yeah, I'll get you guys one out as soon as possible. Now since that's done, um, as you guys can see, it's like a little bulky right down there. That's where he sleeps at night, so I like to put a bunch of things right there just so he feels protected. And you don't really see that much stuff right over here just because that's where, where he goes through the restroom a lot. So I'd rather not have him being and peeing everywhere. But yeah, next, the final part is to get the water dish cleaned out. And put some of this in. This is Ripti Safe by Zumed. This is some good stuff. I use it for everything. So let me put some water in. And yeah, right, I'm back. And I just put water in. So what I usually do is I get like a Gator bottle, old one, wash it out. And I put water in this. And I make sure it sits overnight to get all the chlorine out. But I really don't like. I sometimes use spring water, but I really don't use that much just because I can't really afford that to buy a gallon a week or every few days. So, what you do now is pour the water in to the dish. I'm using like a pie pan right here. I guess you really can't see it. The reason why I use the pie pan is just because if you use like a little small bowl, it's going to go out fast. So, I'd rather just use this and it stays in here for like a while. So, now let me find my... uh my uh, refuse and what I'm recommend doing is getting a, a, dedu a dedicated sponge for your animals but I prefer have one for each one like for, for the leopard geckos get one for the go on and get one and this just scrubs down the thing so in case if it has any like you know that's dirty if it has any like gross stuff on it so you're not gonna get into your other animals bowl and it could get sick so um yeah let me try to find the Repti safe and get back to you guys. Yes. I found my Repti safe. Uh, it was on my floor, but I can never spray it like this just because it doesn't work like that anymore. So now I always have to pull in the nozzle a little bit so it drips out. I don't know what's wrong with the nozzle, but it just broke, I guess. So, oh. This is for every eight ounce cup you put two drops in. But I'd rather put more just so it's healthy and it does a job for surely. Uh, this is just a water conditioner for all species. It uh, cleans the water. They can nuke it. It provides calcium in the water. And yeah, so I recommend getting some of this. Once we go to the Reptile Expo in November, I'm getting a gigantic one like that big for cheap because they do cheap stuff over there. So yeah, now it's just time to put Mr. Pickles in. Let me get him. Here, Mr. Pickles. Ouch. His sharp claws. Come here. Mr. Pickles. There you go. Got him. Now to put him in. And for me to put the lid on. The stuff you guys see hanging off is just leftover hot glue, uh, hot glue uh, things, the leftover of them just because I had to redo this top because it never fit and it would always break, so I redid it. And now it's time to put these lights on. 
be careful with these so the lights don't fall out of the fixtures if you have like a or fixture you never know if you can go fall out. And there you go. You guys just saw me clean up Mr. Pickle's cage. And you know, that's something left over glue thing. But yeah, there he is, and it's happy new home. All clean, new water. I just fed him, so he's extra fat. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, well, please subscribe, comment. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please put them down below. Subscribe up there. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching.